Welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, today we are going to see about how to handle the shadow door elements by using selenium so first let's try to understand what is shadow dome and what are the modes and how we can achieve or identify the elements by using the pure javascript then we will go over to the selenium with java implementation okay first let's understand what is the shadow dome so shadow dome is nothing but it's like one uh, what you call isolated dome or a complete document object model which is placed in Inside your actual dome okay so that and it is very much isolated from your any stylings any any CSS that you are changing to your actual dome will not impact anything to this sub domes so th that is why so shadow domes are, are kind of isolated from your actual dome so that is what it is uh, written here an important aspect of the web development is encapsulation so it means that you can keep the mark of structure or style or the behavior everything you can separate it from your actual dome there is a pictorial representation here you can see which is like the actual document is there which is holding the normal elements here and then there is a shadow element as well so this is actually a normal element attached to your document but this particular element is having a shadow dome now that is nothing but this one so you can see just think about this is just normal some element element tag is there this element tag in turn will hold a shadow root and because this shadow is hold by this particular parent element we call it as a host now this host will hold a shadow uh, shadow dome and th there could be like any other elements like this shadow root can have like uh, some elements like this uh, what you call input span div anything it can hold actually now if you see here it is the same thing so shadow host will hold all of these objects now this shadow host will have a shadow root that is what actually it is talking now you can see shadow host the regular dome node only node in the sense it can have any kind of uh, tag names right and that the shadow dome is attached shadow dome means this particular structure is attached to this one all these pink colors whatever you are seeing these are again normal dome elements only which is, which is attached to this shadow root now any css things that you are changing here will not impact to this one so this particular tree structure will have its own css stuff okay so that is how they are isolating each other so that uh, these changes will not impact to these things so because of that isolation most of the uh, applications nowadays they are implementing the shadow dome structure now again so this is an overview we really don't want to dig down a lot into the uh, that actually now let me show you the an example of a shadow dome how it looks like so let's go to this demo application site so i have created a shadow dome based on the different by looking into different html structures so let me it looks like very much uh, what you call basic right like this is a shadow root and which is having like uh, what you call three different text boxes but yeah it's it's not just normal text boxes let me show you that so if I inspect this you can see and there is actually this is my shadow root inside this you can see this is nothing but my shadow host which you have seen here in this picture so this is the shadow host because you, you can identify by using normal uh, what you call dome structure right like in the selectors hub if I say my hyphen open shadow you can see it's identifying as normal only you can see so there is no problem with that but if i want to get to this input actually okay here i cannot use directly my open document a component dot div or dot find element by tag name div it won't work in this way because there is a shadow root it means that this shadow root is very much isolated to the actual dome so that is how it is structured now anything that you see in this side inside a side root you cannot use as usual only let me show you that into the console so document dot query selector i'll put a query selector here and this is nothing but the uh, here i will say my open my open component right oops sorry my open 
component and if I say dot and then I will say query selector again and I will say div it will not give you the option actually here so this is not going to handle it you can see it is giving you null the reason is that this particular query selector div is inside inside a shadow root actually so how do i access it so i will say dot there is something called as a shadow root uh, property actually so i have to go to this now this returns me a shadow dom element actually now inside this now this so this is uh, now if i make it as this one you can see it is getting actually the value here if I enter it you can see it is giving me the value and if I expand it here you can see the input type is coming so I can do in this and then dot I will say query selector because shadow root is nothing but it is again a parent element right so from this parent element I can I can get that div actually here now you can see I'm getting that open shadow that one or if I go with the input then I will see that particular input text box you can see now I can perform any action here I can say dot value equal to I can type anything actually here and you can see it is typing here so that is how you can identify the shadow root elements you have to put a shadow root then only it will go inside this particular shadow root now how do you know the question comes how do i know that it is inside my a shadow element or not so what we normally do you just inspect it you come back here you are identifying this input right now one thing is that if you are just looking into the dome make sure that the parent is not inside a shadow root that is one option in a quicker way what you can do you can come back to this uh, what do you call the selectors hub which is giving you an option so whenever you inspect any of the elements from the uh, what do you call from your actual screen it gives you whether this particular element is inside a shadow dome or not you can see it is written here in shadow dome but when I'm inspecting this one, you can see there is nothing actually here. So this is one of the quicker way you can identify by using selectors hub as well. Fine. So now we understood what is shadow root or shadow host. So now here your shadow host is this one actually here. Document dot query selector my open document. This tag name is acting as a shadow host. When you put shadow root, now this is becoming your shadow root. Now this shadow root can have again the elements which you seen in this picture. So here this input, this div, these are nothing but these things this pink uh, circles shadow host is your my open uh, shadow this shadow root is the actual shadow root which we have called by using this shadow root property and these are all my shadow root elements another thing is that um, now this is very simple now so by using this shadow root you can perform any action inside that shadow root elements fine now there are a couple of things that we need to remember actually sometimes if you come to this shadow root you will see there is something called as mode actually we call it so you can see open or closed so i will show you this one here let's go to this and inspect you can see it is written as closed now if I am accessing, if I am trying to access this one, this is again the same way only but my uh, shadow host is changing. So what I can do here, I will say here my close component here I will type. And so I will say my close component and I am entering, you can see it's not able to identify that because this particular shadow root is a closed one you can see it's a closed one so i cannot access by using this shadow root let me show you the modes actually how it is happening let me traverse to another link and here if you see this example they very clearly mentioned so let's think about this is my host actually now this div is attached to a shadow which is nothing but closed and if you're trying to access this element dot shadow root it is giving you null which is just now we got the same thing only like if i go to this one let's say that this query input you can see it's saying that query selector is not uh, correct or it is null actually so the same thing it is showing here but if you see in the open when the mode is open at that time you can get all the details here 
so that is the difference so do we really not able to access this closed uh, shadow roots uh, this is yes or no now i will show you two different scenarios in this closed actually even though it is closed we can handle it so there is one option so you have to look into the uh, back end or uh, implementation of this closed shadow root so for this let me just go over to the javascript or the back end stuff which we have created it so let me go to this script here you can see this one right so we are dealing with my open component which we have seen here so if you see this my my open component this is very much this is open right how exactly this is open or close so this is based on this particular so this is what it is making oops sorry this is what it is making whether it is open or closed if you see this closed my closed my closed component the here actually it is in closed mode but if you see this one this is having a reference actually here which is nothing but underscore root and this is very specific to this class only you can see this dot hyphen it's root actually but if you see here it's like public actually so that's why we were able to open uh, and it is open that's why we were able to access this one as a normal by using this shadow root only but here if you see this is actually something called as uh, underscore root actually so this is very internal and it is closed so you cannot access by using the normal shadow root so for this what you need to do either you can talk to your development team to make sure that uh, even though it is closed is it a reference to some other uh, object or not like how it is shadow root is it something else here you can see this dot high, uh, underscore root right but whereas it is this dot shadow root that's why we were able to access by using this shadow root uh, property but here it is different right underscore root so what you can do here let me just go over to this one and instead of this shadow root what i can do i can make it as hyphen root actually sorry it's not hyphen it's underscore actually now you can see it is able to identify this particular uh, uh, what do you call element and i can even add some value to this one even though it is closed i can add some value to that but yeah you need to make sure that your developer has given any reference to this attached shadow mode closed but there is another way the second condition of the close where there is no reference is added for an instance if you go to this one my close component one you can see here actually it is completely closed actually and there is no reference added i am not assigning this this dot attached shadow to something else i cannot use it let me show you that so the component uh, the shadow host here is my close component one right let me show you that here so if you see my component one let me inspect this one and here you can see my close component one right so let me just go with this and instead of this i'm putting one so you can see it will give you error even i cannot use it by shadow root also which i was using in normal way right now i cannot deal with anything because for this particular uh, shadow host there is no other reference is added okay now here if you see these things are very much specific to single shadow root right you might get nested shadow roots also see these are very specific if i want to go to this input there is only one shadow root if you compare from this let me just minimize oops, sorry not this one this uh, let me script wise i will close it if you see this particular input text you uh, this input text this is there is only one shadow root from your actual dome so that's why we were just using one shadow root and we were able to access but there might be an instance inside this shadow root there will be another shadow root so there is no problem you can just use shadow root dot you need to again find out the host for this shadow root then you can dot shadow root you can put it so you can make it as a nested one so this particular demo is not giving you the nested shadow root uh, for simplification i have not done this 
here but yeah you can see there is a polymer project which is giving you the exact same thing which is giving you the multiple shadow roots let me just right click and go to the inspect and here i can show you that let's say that i want to get this particular uh, uh, identify this particular element here you can see this men's out wear and which is an has to tag but i cannot use it as it is right because it is inside a shadow dome but i need to see whether this shadow dome is open or closed it is open the immediate parent is this one right which is open means i can access it now the next question comes if it is a nested one or comparing to your dome it is just the only one actually if you see it's not the one actually you will see this shadow root is on top of another shadow root this one actually whose host is page home so the first host is page home so you will have to make sure that page home dot shadow root dot you have to find another shadow host and that is nothing but this one actually this one actually here then only you can go to this one so let me show you that here so first thing is that i will make sure that document dot query selector or you can use anything actually uh, get element by id or something but i'm more comfortable with the query selector so the first shadow host is what actually this one right page home so i will go here i will say like this and you can see saw pipe is coming but inside this you will see a shadow root right so i need to use shadow root simple thing this one now when i'm doing this shadow root now i came to the first shadow root so first from here to here i came now let's minimize this one now here what is that i actually i need this one right now let's let me find it out what is the uh, let me again go back to this one so here you see the immediate parent is this one right this shadow root but i cannot access like this like i cannot put like this let me go shadow root dot shadow root i cannot do this one this is not allowed because to come to a shadow root i need to find it out another shadow host inside this shadow root now which is nothing but this one actually and which is you can see this is actually name is home so this is your first uh, shadow host and the second one is this one where it is name equal to home so let me go to the same thing so here i will put query selector oops query selector and here i will say okay and you can see it is coming now so this is coming now i cannot access this one right because this is inside a shadow root so what i'm going to do again i will put a shadow root okay now i will go here now if you see here this is coming now all these things are identifying now you can see this is coming actually here now inside this i can go to a h2 right this is actual this means out where is in h2 so what i can do i can go over this again dot query selector and here directly i will search with h2 now you can see it is giving me the h2 but here there are two shadow roots are there so two shadow root because there are two shadow roots you will have to find it out to two shadow host this is my first shadow host this is my second shadow host so like that you have to find it out now because we can access it by using the javascript now it is becoming easy for us to implement it in our selenium with java as well if you are from java background you cannot use it as it is right so yeah we will see how we can deal with the selenium but yeah uh, for today this is all about your shadow dome so hold all these thoughts with you in our upcoming sessions we will see how we can implement all these logics in our selenium and again i will show you uh, one utility method as well where you can just use this open and closed and everything okay so hope this session is helpful to get an idea about your shadow dome stay tuned we will see some more selenium with java topics in our upcoming sessions thank you for watching